so today we're going to be going to the Syracuse Mets game. It's Thursday, so it's Dollar Thursday and all that stuff. They play the Buffalo Bison, so not a super great team, but it's fine. Hopefully the weather holds out for tonight. I'm not sure really what's going to go down tonight. There's no like crazy giveaway or anything, but we'll keep you guys updated as usual. Hello vlog, as you can see I have a hoodie on my head. I'm very obnoxious, but we're going to the Syracuse Mets game. Actually, salt potatoes, excuse me. Syracuse salt potatoes against Buffalo Bisons. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. This is very funny, you guys. The guy who loves his job has been talking for about 15 seconds, and guess what? His microphone's not working, so this is just a typical moment for the Syracuse Mets. I mean, technical difficulties all day, every day. The glizzy in hand and glizzy Yeah, seriously, wearing a glizzy hat, like, <laughs> I mean, I think we all predicted it, but. <laughs> all right, guys, we're just sitting here getting rickrolled. Guess what? You guys can tell the weather's terrible. Yeah, uh, the tarps on the field, it's not even raining. The, the game's gotten delayed for probably an hour, an hour and a half because it's just terrible weather. The game's literally not going to start until like 8.40. I mean, this is... And and right now it's 6.37 and not raining. I was going to leave them. Like, this is ridiculous, you guys. Like, they're always pulling this, you know, our last vlog when they had Daryl Crackberry. The crap they pulled, at least this time, they had the decency to it. I don't say, because like... Jason's whole ordeal is you got to sell as much hot dogs and beer as possible. So you get the fans in here for as long as possible. And then you you play when there's no sight of rain, even if it doesn't rain. And then like that, they just rickroll everyone like moon to this place. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, we're playing some tic-tac-toe to pass the time. And <laughs> Cam actually won the first game. And I look over thinking, wow, he's good at this, doing the face of intelligence the whole time. Again. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, Cam and Becca went over to the side to get Jose Botto and Jose Peraza to sign. And Buto is signing. Like, he's literally going to sign for Cam. This is, this is a big W. This is very good. Good stuff, Cam. Very good. If you guys wonder what we do to pass these terrible storms, Watching the new Fortnite trailer. If you guys play, comment your epics down below, and you might have the chance to play with Rod with the 315. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a new battle pass skin. Fish sticks! 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 She's very fat. Boo! 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 I'm gonna guess 29. Fat, fat, fat. <laughs> DJ Khaled. This is the best edge of all year. <laughs> Dick Scott, folks. Dick Scott. All the Van Dyne people lined up. Scooch. Wyatt Young, who I was taller than, is literally sitting down. Moon to Brett Beatty. He's only doing. Carlos is only doing one. You can see the reflection on Jason's head. My peers are consuming glizzies on this day because it's Dollar Thursday. Rating one through ten. Seven. Hot dog's very good. Bun's a little stale. But shout out Ethan, the dude from 2014 <laughs> Golden Country. Bro, you're always rocking it there. <laughs> you're awesome. Becca, rating on your hot dog? 
I usually don't eat hot dogs, it's pretty good, probably like a 7.5. Very good. With full state fireworks, upstate services group only or operate 13... Great job, Becca! Leading off the second for the Mets, the left fielder, number six, he's your Hawkman hitman. No meat today, folks! No meat today! Emo, do you know how many he's doing? I'm only doing one! He did none today. Mood to you, Carlos Cortez. I'm sick of asking ya. It's bad quality, sorry, but that's all I could get. I told him to win today, so he better win. Go! Go, Scoot! Come on! Come on, Scoot! Run! He can actually win! Come on, Scoot! Go! Go, Scoot! Come on! No! Come on! Run, Scoot! Run! Yes, Scoot! Yeah! Scoot's won again! Oh. Alright, guys. We're doing the normal rounds. Visiting the... Mets bullpen. We can't go to the other because there's a dumb party, but that one just took a He's a Kool-Aid boy. You're in and yeah. This... He's a Kool-Aid boy. <laughs> I'll put the um not too much going on here. Much suck as usual. Shouldn't have even postponed it. Or in game, probably leave about the third inning. We should have just played um, like, Yeah. Ronnie Sugar. Exactly. Yeah, but really nothing notable to say you guys so salute to your peers it's so quiet i don't know how i heard it get it at get it folks i don't know how i heard that i just have an i just have an ear for it i guess i turn it on an equal housing lender all right, guys. Ellie De La Cruz's boyfriend's up. Ronnie De La Cruz. We're wondering. <laughs> we're wondering where Liam is. Is he with his mommy in DR or like what's what's good with that? Crap! 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 Moon to you. Moon to you. It's a very gloomy night here. Oh! A nice 12 second charge from Becca. Thank you, Peter. First of all, look at his picture. Second of all, he's literally wearing a do-rag. Third of all, he looks high, which is just great. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, Beck and I are heading out, but honestly, the game today was very boring. The rain delay was completely unnecessary, but that's just the stuff they pull here. Hopefully the Mets lose. Sadly, won't be here for something stretch, but don't worry, we'll make it up next vlog. You guys, email on them left a while ago. I'm still here, but I don't know if you guys know this story, but I literally had to see the EMT because my leg just decides to start bleeding. Nice. So I literally had to see the EMT. Just awful, awful. There he is, guys, fresh off the suspension. Jeff Brigham got suspended for using sticky substances. So, you're a cheater. Moon to you, Lou. Alright, vlog. This isn't our usual content, but we're at the fair, aka the dump. Um, we're actually going to be grabbing <laughs> buffalo bisons after this. 
you guys know like there's some significance to this um we're really trying to get alec manoa um and a couple other people but switching up the content for you guys you know a lot goes on here there's a lot to see a lot of fupas and whatnot so <laughs> cam's gonna be arriving here soon and yeah that's all i got to say for now oh my gosh it's cam with the vibe with the through five hello mr rabbit hello piper hello piper Oh God. <laughs> That's Piper's brothers oh, and sisters. <laughs> Where's Dan Appetite? Alright you guys, Miss Mingle got the famous corn dog and the stand is literally called Chester's. You guys know, if you don't know, I'm a big corn dog fan and these are like the best, so let's see it. Mm. Rating? Very good. Out of 10. Give it an 8 out of 10, you guys. Very good. Chester, very intellectual. You guys know Chester Cheeto, very intellectual human being. So, very good. All right, you guys, as always, this year the butter sculpture is stupid. Nothing new. Brain health. Growth. Milk, yogurt, and cheese. Something wrong with him. I mean, I. Hi, Liam. <laughs> What's the other one? Strong bones. Mark Vientos, you need that for your wrist. Yeah. They look very, yeah. Meek. They look very meek. What does he have in his hand? Or she? Sorry, I misgendered him. Very dumb, as always. <laughs> you camera thought for the lots of scenes. Here's the sand sculpture. There's some pretzels. Cam brought those pretzels. <gasps> Very good. I like the trees at the top. That's kind of movement. Why is there Taste water? these nuts. Right. Well, I'm about just getting her shoes shined. Wait, right here. This right here must be the oldest. All right, guys. So you know, Vibe with the Three and Five is here at the fair and. I just thought of a really epic story that needs to be told. So probably about five years ago, we were attending the fair and we parked like down like gate six, like the end of the midway. And I really had to use the bathroom and there's one right there. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to use We all use the bathroom. Yeah. And it's just like one stall, like family bathroom type of thing. And this lady, and she was overweight. And when I say that, I'm saying three pushing four. Okay. Pushing three. Because, pushing three. Yes. And basically she's like, well, it costs to use this bathroom. Yeah. And we're like, um, what? since when? I mean, like, what is this? Like, she literally tried to charge us to like, use Like, literally, bathroom. like, five bucks, too. Like, it wasn't per even, person. like, a quarter, a dollar. Five, five bucks per person to pee. Reminds me of Amir Garrett wanting $95 a sign. Right? And we're like, that is not right. That's not okay. And she's like, if you can't afford it, you can go use the free one. And then we told her manager and she got fired on the yeah spot. and we literally watched her get fired it was exactly funny. we went like all the way across the fair to like guest services and we're like this lady tried to charge us to use the restroom and if you guys don't know the new york state fair is huge yeah it it's literally crazy. probably like half a mile across maybe longer and then they're like well we're gonna go talk to her right now and fire her and then we got on like golf carts and yeah we were like i was literally like running i'm like i'm having an asthma attack but i'm gonna see this yeah, you, and, you know get fired so i just thought i'd share that little story but if you disrespect us <laughs> watch out yeah, because literally. you'll have it coming like, do not charge me to pee like some people have an overactive bladder like thank you and goodbye <laughs> And if any of you guys are fans of Pizza Free Affair Classic, our grandpa and his brother actually built that exact villa and our Uncle Tom 
slid all the way down the side of that building and my grandpa cracked up because it was funny. All right, guys, so there's Becca on it right there. And we're gonna, Becca! And we're gonna be walking along next to in time yet because we're not going. Hello, vibe with the 315. Lately I've been feeling crazy and trippin' I gotta get out the S pills Bad bitch with me came through drippin' Don't give a damn my S pills We don't believe him cause he kept I've been thinking about lean I might relapse Guys, in the expo center is literally all dinosaurs And like, this one's moving like, whoa <laughs> Like, look at this Like, this is kind of cool but like, weird and like, low-key waste of money Like, but hey, I'll take it for the AC Like, you already know Oh, ride me dinosaur that's fire, bro. That's actually fire. Syracuse nuts the graph now. Hopefully we got some autographs. He's a very intellectual cheetah. Look at him. He's doing the face of intelligence. He's very intellectual. <laughs> Guess what tonight is, guys? It's fireworks. <laughs> For the how many times a the season? The 425th time this year. <laughs> Stupid. You ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Scooch is an avid supporter of Vibe of the Throne 5. He won the mascot race for me yesterday. <laughs> Alright guys, Kim's here getting that ump his autograph. We are not joking when we say we do this kind of stuff. Thank you. Thank you.